What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. Hopefully today, Thursday. If not, definitely tomorrow on Friday. I have two more full days here at this campground, and then it's time for me to pack everything up and head to my next campground, which is just an hour and a half down the road. I had to rearrange some things so that I can remain in the Florida area for my next doctor's appointment. But after that doctor's appointment, I will be heading up north. Uh, Georgia will be my next stop, and then from Georgia to Ohio. So pretty excited to be moving on because after three months at the same campground, I'm kind of ready to, to go to a different campground. Even though the campground that I'm about to go to is probably on my top three lower ranked campgrounds that I like the least. But I use this campground as like a pass through as if I don't wanna spend the money to be at this one, I can go to that one because it's a lot less expensive. But anywho, my fan broke and it's starting to get warmer at night. The days are okay when it's even warmer because I run my air conditioner during the day, but I don't want to run my air conditioner all night and all day. So my fan here, and remember I told you guys in a, one of my previous videos that a fan, having a lower portable fan as well as a portable heater are on my must have just in case things malfunction in here. And when I was loading uh, everything up and reorganizing the storage box up the top of my uh, new car. I had this sitting on top of the car and I accidentally knocked it off and it fell on the ground and it broke. One of the spin things, propeller things in there broke off completely. Listen, and let me, this is how it sound if I tried to run it. Listen to this. And hardly any air coming out of it. And hardly any air is coming out of it. So I'm going to get a new fan something that I can just sit right up on here and, and you know, get some air circulating around here at night, even with the windows open. So I need that because it was kind of stuffy in here last night and I had all the windows open. So I'm definitely going to replace that fan today and pick up a couple little all bar things. I had no intentions on going back to Walmart until I head to my next campground because I passed that same Walmart on the way to the next campground. But it was a little stuffy in here and I don't think I can go two more nights without some type of air circulating around here. <laughs> All right, what else I'm going to do today? Today, I'm also thinking about putting some more stickers up on the uh, box because some of them through wear and tear are peeling off and then I have some space to put some newer ones on there as well. But the big to do today is I want to flip my mattress over. I've never moved this mattress. I don't think if I'm correct, I've never taken this mattress off of here since I put it on here. So I'm thinking of how am I going to be able to flip this mattress over because how often do you guys uh, flip your mattress? Do you even remember the last time you flipped your bed mattress? Um, I think it's important for me to uh, flip this mattress over because I'm in a small space and it's important for me to check like one of you FOAs in the comments said to check in for mildew or mold and stuff like that because there's not a lot of air circulating underneath this mattress here. It's laid on top of the original cushions of the uh, trailer. So I'm going to make sure that every one or two months that I do flip this mattress over, check for mildew and mold, as well as it's also good for longevity of your uh, mattress to flip it over, you know? So flip it. What is What did Belle Biv DeVoe said? Flip it, rub it. 
<laughs> I can't think of that. <laughs> oh no. But anyway, let's get going. The first thing I want to do is go to uh, Walmart once again. I am so always at Walmart uh, again and get a small fan and a couple of other items. And then we shall continue on with our day. So I'll see you guys when I get back from Walmart. They burning something on the field. Y'all see the fire? Look at all that smoke. Wowza. I am back from Walmart. This is the fan that I went with. I'm going to sit it at night. I'm going to sit it right up on the counter. It's one of those fans that go from side to side. Hopefully I'll get some better ventilation in here at night when it gets all stuffy. And I bought a couple things. Got, of course, some tapioca pudding. I'm supposed to be making my own. But I haven't been in the mood to make it. Turn y'all around just a little bit here. And I got some spinach dip. One, two percent white milk and chocolate milk. Some Himalaya, oops, Himalaya salt. One, one of these days I'm going to make some, uh, one of these days I'm going to make some um, chicken and broccoli. And one of the things that I like in my chicken and broccoli, which I seem to forget every time I go to Walmart and I don't be thinking of chicken and broccoli, is the oyster sauce. This is what gives that uh, chicken and broccoli, if you ever bought chicken and broccoli from the Chinese store, this is what gives it that brown sauce, that brown, you know how that that chicken and broccoli sauce looks. This is what gives it that, that brown sauce look, the oyster sauce. And then before I leave here, because I think I have I have three more nights that I'm going to cook something. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go to the restaurant any of during this week or my rest of my time here. But I did buy some salmon. I'm going to bake some salmon. I have some sweet potatoes in here or in my fridge in the, um, the uh, car. So one of these nights, going to be some baked salmon, some sweet potatoes and then my other night is going to be some broccoli and chicken then i bought some chips these chips went up they were always two dollars and 67 cents now they are two dollars and 88 cents but i still like these chips these are the same Santitas, pretty good. Then I bought some more beef patties. I absolutely, I love, 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 love these. Love them. Oh, let me give y'all a tip about if you buy these. Do not put these in the freezer because when you put them in the freezer and you thaw them out or if you take them from the, directly from the freezer to the microwave or your toaster oven however you prepare these i like to put mine in the toaster i mean toaster no stop anthony i like to put mine in the microwave for two minutes but however what i'm saying is if you just put them in a the regular part of your refrigerator so that they don't freeze uh they're going to microwave really good they're going to be soft all the way around but if you do it from the fridge the freezer to however you fix it your edges are going to be hard 
and I don't like that. I learned that, you know, just put them in the regular part of the refrigerator. So microwave them for two minutes. Tear a little out. Uh, always tear a little slit. Oh, I got something in my mouth. I did stop at Mickey D's and get a fish sandwich, and I guess that's a piece of fish left over in my mouth. But anyway, don't micro, uh, don't uh, freeze these. Put them in the regular part of your refrigerator. And last time I went to Walmart, I bought uh, these sausages. And you guys, I took a picture of my breakfast and put it on the community page. And these are the Butterball All Natural Turkey Breast Sausage Patties. I really like these. So I bought another pack of these. And then the last thing I bought, I bought some counter lighting. So I can put maybe underneath here, or maybe like along across here. Because this lighting, these two lightings here are, they too bright at night and you know, since they don't have tinted windows on this trailer or they don't have blackout curtains or blackout shades here, I wanted a warmer light in here so that if I wanted to have some light in here at night and if you're outside, you don't see still my silhouette from the, the shades there. So I bought some lights. All righty, I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'm gonna take a little break and then I'm gonna get to flipping this mattress over. And that's gonna be something, boy. Cause the mattress is heavy and I don't have a lot of height space right here to like just flip it all over, all, all over like that. So we'll see how I work it out. All right, I'm gonna take a little mini break. <laughs> All right, I went to get something out of my refrigerator and I noticed there's a puddle of water at the bottom of my refrigerator. More than a puddle, it's probably about that high. So I'm going to, I bought a second one of these uh, windshield covers. And I hope this wind don't blow y'all over because <laughs> this is a little windy right now. I bought a second one of these to put over top of my, to cover up my uh, refrigerator and my jackery. So whenever sun is coming through here, this will help shade it off. But, there's a, yeah, there's, <laughs> We got some water going on in there. So I'm gonna take all the, everything out of here. Look how many sticks of butter I have. <laughs> ah, you think I love this butter? Look how many I have. <laughs> I got five sticks of the curry, garlic, and herb butter. <laughs> I better hurry up and do this before they melt. Got some Gatorades up in here. Uh-oh, I hope y'all don't blow over. Don't blow over. Got some bacon. Oh, Lord. All my vegetables are soft. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh boy. 
Look how much water in here. I'm gonna try to show y'all. Can y'all see that? See that? Look how much water in here. And that, that's because when the refrigerator reaches it temperature, and for some reason, my jackery cuts off, and then the ice around the refrigerator melts. And I get that big old puddle that you saw. That look a hot mess. <laughs> that really do. I hope I don't run out of paper towels before it dries up. This is a mess. Okay, oh, it's not that bad. I guess I have to do this, do this every now and then. All clean. Now let's dry some of these bags off. I hope this stuff frees back up because I don't want to waste these vegetables. Please be some good, please be some good, please be some good. a lot of vegetables to be wasted. Whew. I better get to eating this bacon too. Where y'all at? Are y'all here or there? I think, let me see. I think y'all over there. <laughs> y'all somewhere. I don't know, once these things get soggy, I wonder if they're any good. I will say that my refrigerator freezer in the, uh, in the van, I don't know why my cheese isn't in there. I usually keep my cheese in there.
All right. That's a wrap, that's a wrap, that's a wrap. All right, guys, that's it for that little chore. Back in the house, back in the house. Back in the, oh. This is my little brush that was on the, Round. I use this to clean my uh, bug zapper out. All right, this camper just came in and I want to watch and see them back in. I like to watch and get some tips. So let me hurry up because they're almost in there. Man, I wish I could back in that easily. He looked like he getting it the first try. Oh my goodness. That. I wish I could back in that that easy. I wonder if it's the same guys that were here. Nah, no, that looked like a different type of history. It was two guys here in that same exact spot that had an airstream, but theirs was longer. Wow, that was, that was effortlessly. I mean, look how perfect he is. I gave him a thumbs up. I said, wow, I wish I could pull in like that. He said, I had a little bit of practice. <laughs> All right, guys. Now the last thing I'm gonna try to conquer today is this air mat. I mean air mattress. This uh, mattress. I'm gonna try to flip it over and take the uh, original cushions off as well to see if I'm quite sure I got some dead bugs in there. So let's get to that.
Okie dokie. Let's see. Should I take it from that end and pull it this way and then push that in back that way? I actually want to take it all the way off so I can, it's, oh, excuse me, buffer boy. I don't know if this mattress can be flipped or not, because this is a whole different side. I don't know, let me see. show you guys what I'm talking about if I can oh this uh, this whole it's a whole different side see oh what uh, you can't see hold on see it's a whole different uh, pattern on the back I don't know whether this was meant to be on the bottom as opposed to this right here and i'm thinking that it it was meant this was meant to be on the bottom yeah because look at the tag over there the tag is on the bottom so i don't know whether this mattress was meant to be flipped over or not wowzer okay all right let me turn you guys back around all right i'm gonna check for some dead bugs now <laughs> i see i see a i see a bunch of them already <laughs> oh my lord <laughs> I see a bunch of them already. Oh my heavens. Whoa! <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> I got some dead bugs going on around right here, boy. Woo! Lord have mercy. Oh, let me show y'all. <laughs> I'm glad I did this, boy. Look at the dead, dead insects. Oh my gravy. Look all up on the, all up on the wall there. I don't know what that thing is right there with wings. All this. <laughs> Woo, let me get the cleaner. All right, I'm gonna put some of this uh, Brillo pad stuff in here. I used all this up already and I've been pouring some of my um, lemon stuff that I got from um, the Dollar Tree in there. So I've been using this every day in my toilet after I take a, a pee or a number two and refill the toilet up. I spray this in there so that good smelling water will go down or help it to be, you know, not so bad. This stuff smells good. Oh Lord, I hope I don't break this thing. <laughs> that would not be cute at all. Let's take this, Let's take this centerpiece out. Ah. Sit that there. Oh, I need to sweep, sweep under here. Good gracious. Oh 
yeah, this stuff cleans good. This cleans good. Oh yeah, this stuff cleans. No, oh, I have mercy. I had to run out of, I had to run out of uh, tissues, napkins, paper towels. clean now yay all clean i sweat the most on the day that i shave and i shave the day shave my face and my head and boy it makes me extra hot but let's take a look at it now all clean yay all right here's what it looked like after i cleaned it nice and clean uh-oh i got some stuff right there that i got to pick up those two right there let's see oh shoot oh my goodness Anthony all right I left some right here all right there we go Woo. I tell y'all you know fancy editing going on around here boy huh. there you go look at that nice and clean Ooh, I knew it had to be some bugs there, boy. Because I'd be, I'd be squirting my, my bug kill spray. There we go. All right, let's put this stuff back together and be done with this. <laughs> Look at me sweating, y'all. <laughs> but it's a good sweat, though. It's a good sweat. Time to put my mattress back on. Uh, I don't even know how to approach this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gravy. <laughs> oh my gravy. That was that was a workout there. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
That's a little, let me shake this out. There's a little insect was on there. I should take it out, I shouldn't. <laughs> I'm just gonna shake it back, shake the dang old insect back in the uh, trailer. Hopefully, hopefully that would do. Look at that bed. That bed, that bed look good as new. Good as new. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm lying, I'm flying, and I can't fly. It do be feeling like at night some things be crawling on me, and I be it's on my leg and stuff. So hopefully this will solve that for now. This bed process making is a hot mess, boy. I'm telling you. That's the best I can get it. <laughs> That's the best I can get it right there. And that's the best I can get that. Yep, that's it. Uh, I hope my next trailer, if possible, have some walk around space so I can make my bed out properly. But that's it. All right, guys. <laughs> what a day, what a day, what a day, what a day. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Uh, later on for dinner time, I'm going to bake some salmon and if... My sweet potatoes is good. I'll go ahead and do some sweet potatoes, salmon, maybe some of this. Uh, maybe a cup of this uh, wild rice, this brown wild rice. This this rice is hard. I, I ate one cup of this, and I'm telling you, I, I even put some of my butter in there, and I put a little oil in there to making it so, make it a little softer. It just did not soften up like I wanted to. So I'll be glad when I finish up. And I got two more of these. I'll be glad when I finish up these so I, can, I won't buy these no more. But all right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.